So there was a story of Canadian study that linked vaccine status and car accidents. They said that people who are unvaccinated are 72% more likely to be in a major car accident. I guess the implication being that you should get vaccinated or that unvaccinated people are reckless. I think that maybe that is... I don't think that anybody in their right mind is suggesting that the vaccine somehow makes you a safer driver or protects you from major car accidents. I don't think anyone's saying that, but they are saying that people who don't get the vaccine are somehow more reckless, just unsafe people in general. That I'm, That's most likely the implication. That's why the story is even being reported. What do you think about that? Well, they are saying, um, let's see, let me, I remember they, because I thought they basically uh, said that it, it was related to the personality, but um, yeah. <laughs> it indicates but, some I mean, more reckless personality or behavior. Yeah. But it, the study is total, it's total bullshit because it doesn't account for miles driven, which I think is such an obvious thing that you would have to control for, right? It, it, it's, it seems highly likely that people who are uh, vaccinated have a higher, they're, I mean, they're, they're they more, more afraid. To, well, drive less, they drive less. They drive less, yeah, because people yeah. who are vaccinated are taking COVID more seriously and they're probably more uh, afraid of COVID and they'll probably leave the house less than people who are unvaccinated. So, uh, yeah, to not control for miles driven, I think, is um, a huge, <laughs> huge flaw. And, and what's I think funny that, is yeah. all the cohorts actually, line up with pushing it in extreme directions, the results of this study. They actually do discuss this note, uh, you know, well, the word that they or the phrase that they use is actually distance. They, they say that they don't uh, take into account distances driven. And I, I'm not exactly sure if, if by distance they mean just, you know, how long the average trip is or if they just mean, you know, that they should have controlled uh, for the number of miles driven. But then they link to some other study, you know, in, in their defense, they, they try to link to another study, which basically tries to say that, you know, miles driven is not a is not a good it's not a good control, I guess. But even that study, I would say, isn't enough support to ignore this whole, you know, the, this phenomenon or the possibility that a vaccinated person is probably less likely to leave the house. So, yeah, I think this study is just complete bullshit. And they're, they're talking about how maybe people will try to use this study to justify, um, you know, increases in insurance premiums and, and whatnot. And that's just BS. There's not even a point because I bet you anything they already pay more <clears throat> in insurance. I, I would bet that all of these uh, demographics line up perfectly to make this stat. Number one, I'm almost certain more women get vaccinated than men. Mm -hmm. Men get into more car accidents. <laughs> Number two, are they blue collar? Are they white collar? What do they do for a living? I bet you anything the blue collar people who have to drive more, truckers, landscapers, whatever the case may be, Okay, bet you anything they are less likely to be vaccinated than some screeching white liberal woman who goes to fucking uh, uh, <laughs> Twitter HQ sometimes, maybe once a week to do yoga. Right. She's definitely yeah. vaccinated. Your yeah. landscaper may not be. Who's going to get into more car accidents? She doesn't even go out like you said. Right. She works remote. So <laughs> the idea that, you know, and uh, oh, 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 another thing. People who live in cities, very dense urban areas, a lot of them drive quite a bit less. They take public transit versus people in rural areas who drive more mm -hmm. because things are farther apart. And accidents can be more uh, severe because people are driving faster. Even if you get into a, this, this measured uh, serious accidents, meaning at least one person went to the hospital. A lot of accidents you get into on a city street, it's just, uh, oh, you know, a fender bender. It's just like, OK, it's, you get insurance, right? But nobody's going to the hospital because the, they're not high-speed collisions. But if you, if you crash into somebody on a country road, it could be very, very, very dangerous. So all of the demographics just line up for people who are unvaccinated to get into more serious accidents. And it's not even necessarily because of personality, of them being more reckless or whatever. And even if it is, so what? Yeah, it makes sense that people who are getting vaccinated have very low risk tolerance and people who don't get vaccinated maybe have a higher risk tolerance that would make sense to me but so what are people not allowed are people not allowed their amount of risk tolerance the conclusions are are spurious 
and the 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 goals of even publishing this are slimy they're trying to paint unvaccinated people in a certain way and maybe even shape policy in a way to discriminate against them it's really trashy motivations and based on really faulty logic and conclusions this is published in the american journal of medicine which i don't know it sounds sounds like a uh, prestigious type of journal have you heard of that before yeah i've heard of it of course i've heard of it is it is this like one of the main journals i mean it, it, this just you know you you can file this away in the in the bucket of uh medicine has gotten political yes uh, but it, this is not matter. any news to us like the lancet yeah. was full on political right right you had doctors running out i i can't believe that other people are not remembering this remember the doctors telling us that blm uh, uh protests are somehow COVID impervious or something. <laughs> yeah. There's like some sort of plot armor or shield around or bubble around them uh, due to <laughs> the righteousness of fighting for racial, racial justice. This <laughs> bubble, this bubble of uh, viruses could not breach this bubble. And therefore you're totally safe. Go out there and protest guys. We had doctors yeah. saying that people got through medical school and co-sign yeah. this stuff. Now, yeah, in fairness, is, did they yeah. actually actually say that? Not exactly. They said something like, well, this is just so important. COVID doesn't matter. But then that's, you're contradicting what you just said two months ago, which is COVID is the most important threatening thing in the history of mankind. <laughs> and now it's not so much. It's just, it's like a distant second to racial justice, right? Yeah. These are people who got through medical school. These are not even just dumb university students. They got through medical school. I'm not telling you that you should just uh, discount people who have achieved this sort of education and just assume that all doctors are dummies or something like that. I'm not saying that. But the amount of faith, just blind faith, that we've put in them in the past, it's it's going to take a while before that level of faith, blind faith, comes back. I agree. Yeah. Because uh, I, I question anything you say, especially if it has any touch of political in it. Or, yeah, financial yeah, which or is, financial. Yeah, which is similar. Although we should have questioned that long ago because <laughs> it's it's been a long time that doctors have been prescribing things maybe because they got some b- big pharma passed them some uh, some money, right? That's right, that's right. a thing or, that's or, been happening or, for a yeah. long time. Or surgeons doing operations. But I think, yeah, the stuff like this, this quote-unquote study, it just makes it so obvious. <laughs> There's politics getting involved. Yeah, and it's unfortunate because you would think that if there's one thing that shouldn't get into, it's medicine. Yep. <laughs> it's scientific inquiry, but maybe it never left. Maybe that's the joke. It just never it never left. We're just noticing now how mm-hmm. how 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 insidious it is. Just a little reminder, it's not a big story. It's not there's no real policy implications, but just another reminder, a little data point to support this uh don't 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 have blind faith in these guys.